Good morning from the National Weather Service here in Pocatello. My name is Carter, and this is your Southeast Idaho weather hazard briefing for Tuesday, July 11th. Got warm and dry weather continuing outside of a few isolated showers this morning around the Teton Valley. But beyond that, plenty of sunshine and very dry weather over the next seven days. Maybe looking at some potential record heat starting on Sunday. I'll be breaking that down for you this morning. Keep us working focused on today. Warm and dry weather continues. We're going to see some breezy winds each afternoon, diurnally increasing, and that will be leading to some increased fire danger potential, especially as we begin to dry out those lower elevation fuels. And we did even have some small brush fires reported yesterday, one of those out of the INL area. Potential record heat is possible for as we head into the weekend, so we're going to look at forecast highs approaching records starting Sunday, some even one degree uh, close to uh, tying those records. So we'll keep an eye on that for the weekend, but certainly a warm and dry pattern for the next seven days. Big picture for you this morning. So we got a system right there working through northern Idaho. This will continue to bring a little bit of clouds and an isolated shower to rumble or thunder in southwest Montana, but mostly just showers for our area. And this is generally going to be in the Teton Valley early this morning, but by the time you headed out the door, it should be nice and dry for you and not expecting anything in the way of precipitation for at least the next seven days. Big picture for the northern Pacific. So you can see high pressure streaming in from the southwest areas of our forecast area. This will continue to bring some very dry conditions over the next several days. We'll be a little bit breezy behind this exiting system, helping to bring some stronger southwest winds, but nothing maybe 25 to 30 miles an hour. So nothing too breezy, but certainly keeping a lot of active moisture, active systems to our northwest. But this blocking ridge of high pressure will force those up and over out of our area, just helping to increase those winds each afternoon. Weather of Scotland for the next five days, not a whole lot to talk about, but certainly being careful out there for fire safety and heat safety, especially if you're headed out during the heat of the day. And this is a pic- some pictures of the INL brush fire that was taken right about 1230 yesterday. As you can see, it's going to be very dry across our lower elevations, so especially uh, keep an eye on that fire danger. None of our zones are critical yet, but we are still seeing the cheat grass and some of those sagebrush really starting to dry out, and that will be increasing the fire danger potential as we head into mid-July. High temperatures today will be slightly cooler than what we saw yesterday. Overall going to be in the upper 70s to low 90s with warmest areas in the Magic Valley. High temperatures for your Wednesday, much the same, if not just a little bit warmer further south. We're going to see afternoon highs in the 70s, 80s to mid 90s. High temperatures for Thursday, again, just riding that roller coaster a little bit up and down each day. But for Thursday, system passing to our northeast will get temperatures down just a little bit. We're going to see afternoon highs in the 70s, 80s to low 90s. For Friday, not a whole lot of change, much of the same as a 70s, 80s, and 90s. And for Saturday, so we're going to start to crank up that heat just a little bit for Saturday. Got a high pressure ridge that's going to be amplifying over our area for the weekend. So start to see a little bit more noticeably hotter temperatures for your Saturday becoming even more noticeable on Sunday. And speaking of those temperatures on Sunday, we're going to see the warmest day so far this year right now in the forecast for your Sunday. So we're going to see afternoon highs in the 80s to upper 90s, pushing about 100 degrees in portions of the Magic Valley and some of our southern lower elevations. And again, record highs for July 16th, generally going to be in the 80s, 90s uh, to low 100s, obviously Stanley up there, colder mountain basin. But we are forecasting high 88 there up there on Sunday. So those records date back to 1915 around that time frame. So certainly some uh, anomalously warm temperatures as we head into the later part of this week into early next week. This is a helpful tool to look at when it comes to heat risk. So we're going to be looking at some moderate to potential major impacts as you head out into the Waiheas and Treasure Valley. Certainly going to be an increased heat risk as we head into the weekend. And it's not an isolated thing. It's going to be all across much of the western United States, seeing that red major and magenta for extreme heat danger across large portions of the Great Basin and southwest United States. High temperatures on Monday, so it's still going to be pretty warm as we head into early next week. We're looking at afternoon highs again in the 80s, mid-90s, pushing about 100 as you get into the lower Snake Plain in Magic Valley. But record temperature departure from the forecast, what we have is increasing just a little bit more. So might not be pushing those records on Monday at this time, but certainly at least staying anomalously warm for this time of year. That's about all I have for you this morning. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to send us an email, give us a call, or check out some information on our website. Have a great day.